Damn, this feels weird as fuck. All right, off the rip. My voice fucked because of the flu. Uh, I've been so down bad crook all week. Um, yeah, straight up. Um, and now I can't, I'm slowly getting my taste back now, but like I couldn't taste for a couple of days, which is far more depressing than you would uh, initially perceive. Um, but long time no see. I'm probably looking a lot fatter than the last time you saw me. I'm still not fat. Um, I'm definitely a lot healthier now. I'm, I'm not completely back to normal, but we are five weeks post show as of yesterday. Um, and I'm feeling a lot better apart from the flu. Um, but today I thought, fuck it, I need to pick up the camera again because it had been a hot minute. Uh, where can I put this down? It had been a hot minute, so I'm picking it back up. Can you see me if I sit here? You can. Um, and basically what I'm going to do today is run you through a full day of eating. So, starting off with meal one. Oh, actually, before we get into that, I'm now sponsored by EHP Labs, which is awesome. Um, this is backwards for you guys, but uh, this is what's in today's protein. Uh, fuck. In today's oats. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to support me on EHP, there'll be a link in the description. Um, and also you can use code Denton at checkout. Uh, but this is the product I'm using in today's oats. Um, I have got peanut butter Reese's Puffs Banoffee Oats. So this is in the base, the oats itself. And then on top, if you can see, please don't go everywhere. We have Scotch Finger Biscuits for all my Australian homies, you know what that is, crushed up. Reese's Puffs on this side, crushed up. And banana underneath that with a little bit of caramel sauce. And uh, that is meal one. I'm not, uh, actually I will show you macros because it'll be caught, it'll be, uh, 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 fuck. <laughs> it will be interesting to see uh, my macros now that I'm post show. I'm eating a fuckload of food uh, for most people. I am still starving eating this amount of food. <clears throat> um, but yeah, for most people it'd be a lot. For me, I am ravenous. Like I, I've held out, what's the time, like 11? Yeah, it's like 11 o'clock. I've held out to eat this meal at 11. Usually I eat my first meal pre-workout at 8.30. Um, but I will still finish all my meals guaranteed by 6 p.m. tonight. And it's like four, it's nearly four and a half thousand calories. So your boy is hungry. And last minute I decided to add a kiwi to the meal. So we're having that with this. Back for meal number two. Haven't done the whole lot since the last time you saw me. Um, just ran some errands. Basically been meal prepping for the week. Um, and then also just grocery shopping and stuff like that. But meal two. If you guys could smell through this, oh my God. Um, but we have some extra lean beef burgers, 95.5 to be exact. Diet right to accompany this. If you're from Australia, get on these. Um, we've got a slice of mozzarella cheese, lettuce, grilled pineapple and caramelized onion uh, relish and some mustard. Did I say barbecue sauce? There's some barbecue sauce on top as well. <clears throat> um, so these are going to be fucking lit. Uh, and this is the joys of having higher calories. Because you can do stuff like this. You can have homemade little sourdough burgers just like this. Uh, and I will give you guys a quick taste test because I know that is the most important part. Now, pineapple in a burger, I'm sure that's gonna get some hate, but trust, shit is amazing. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Um, next meal, I'll be eating while I'm at the movies watching Spider-Verse. So I'll show you that before I eat it in the movies because obviously I'll forget if I do that. Um, but that will be just a chicken and rice meal. A bus and chicken and rice meal. It's gonna stay there. Yes, it is. Let's go. Fuck. All right. <clears throat> I'm a little bit sunburned. I've been in the sunbed. I overdid it. It is what it is. We're here. Um, so, next meal. Obviously, I've just pulled up to the movies. Um, I'm gonna eat this probably like an hour or so. I ate, what's the time now? 3.49. I ate like 2 o'clock, just after 2, so... Trying to space meals out nice and evenly, two and a half, three hours apart. But right here we have, I'll give you a quick look. It looks fucking, it looks pretty bussin'. It smells bussin'. I know it's bussin'. Um, we have 
chicken, lettuce, spinach, beetroot, avocado, dates, barbecue sauce, and almond butter. Almond pecan butter. Um, which if you haven't tried, try it. It's fucking late, but this will be the next meal. Uh, it's a pretty hefty one, nice and heavy. It is full of micronutrients, which is what we are trying to do. Um, last off season, because I hated food so much, <clears throat> I, uh, I very much so neglected, uh, I wouldn't say neglected my health, but my food intake was pretty atrocious, to be honest. Um, we have an off season, uh, off season, off plan meals like three times a week, um, which I mean, to be fair, probably isn't that bad, but I wasn't eating like, I just wasn't eating, I wasn't eating good. I fucking last time I like competed, I was a, I was a natty scum and I'd been dieting for like over a year. So I was pretty well, I was pretty well accepting the fact that after the show, I was just going to eat whatever I wanted to feel normal again. Um, and I did exactly that, but it did fuck me over in the off season. Um, so I'm going to touch on post show and stuff like that, probably a bit later on after the movie and stuff. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go enjoy Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Fucking keen for this one. Guys, I haven't been able to fucking concentrate on a movie and enjoy a movie in, I'd say nearly four months, probably like 15 weeks out, I started to lose a bit of like, um, not so much focus, but like if I was sitting down watching the movies, I'd be like, oh, fuck, like I, I need to be getting steps in, like oh, when's my next meal? Like it just, I haven't been able to enjoy something for a while, so. It feels nice, so I'm catching up with a couple boys watching a movie. Alright, I'm wasting time, I need to fucking get in there and start it already, so... PEACE! Fuck's sake, I'm fucking 30 minutes early. 30 minutes early, so I'm currently, uh... I'm about to piss, and then... Fuck, I don't know, I'll probably just walk around the fucking mall, I suppose. But, if you guys aren't aware, the hack... Disabled toilet, always better lighting, comfortable... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back from the movies with meal four, I believe. Um, now, I'm eating this a little bit later than I would like to. It is currently about 7.30, and this is when I usually eat my last meal. Um, obviously, I had a few things on today, so that didn't happen. Um, but this is, we've got some overnight wheat bix that are actually not overnight. I made them earlier in the day. Wheat bix for those who are not aware. Um, now, you know, what, you know what wheat bix are, fuck. <clears throat> um, topped with some custard, protein custard. Um, and then on one side, I've got some like sugar-free little uh, cookie biscuits that I crush up and use like half a little packet. And then on the other side, we have some cashews. And then underneath all of that is banana that's on top of the custard. Um, this is pretty similar to what I usually have. Um, I forgot to mention earlier, today is a rest day. So for me on a rest day at the moment um, is sort of just a little bit of a intuitive day of eating. Like obviously I still follow my macro plan and stuff like usual, but obviously I'm not training. So meal timing in terms of uh, like taking the certain amount of carbs pre and post workout isn't as big of a deal. Um, I still spread out my meals evenly. So basically every meal today is like as close to as possible, like 100 to 120 carb, around the 15 gram of fat mark, and around the 40 to 50 grams of protein to make sure that it's evenly spread throughout the day and not just chocked, chocked, chock full of fats in one meal and carbs in another and just like destroy my digestion. Um, but yeah, on a training day, it'll be a lot more rigid. Um, I eat pretty much the same meals to be honest, but, um, they are the macronutrients pre and post workout are much higher carb, um, instead of being more evenly spread throughout the day. But I am going to give you guys a taste test because this shit, I know this shit's gonna be good. Have a look at that. It's it's like you're eating cake, bro. Like, nah, bro. Honestly, this is too easy. This is too easy. If you're on a meal plan and not tracking macros, you're retarded. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. And very exciting. We're in the same spot again with meal numero five which we have some red velvet protein pancakes. We have caramelized apple, sugar reduced ice cream, almond pecan butter in there somewhere, a crushed biscuit, banana, protein and rice flour, uh, which is what makes the base obviously, and then date syrup. 
Um, so this one is a bit of a concoction, but it's a nice little nightcap. So, taste test. Some of these pancakes are absolutely botched because uh, one of the pans I was using was not non-stick whatsoever. Mmm. Tastes elite. Fellas. All right, so it is currently, mind the mess, um, we got a fair bit of shit going on here. <laughs> to be honest, I've been snoring, so uh, I've been sleeping down here, and or Christo will be sleeping down here because of uh, me snoring again, uh, which I think has got something to do with me being sick still. So I'm right now, I'm two weeks after the last clip you would have seen. Um, still got remnants of this flu, which is uh, not ideal. Uh, but pretty much, I just wanted to end this fucking YouTube video off. I've actually just eaten my pre-workout um, for the current day, which is pretty well the exact same as what you saw. Uh, actually, no, because that was a rest day, so my pre-workout is just cream of rice. Um, but that is what I want to talk about. My calories obviously have changed because it's now two weeks later than what it was when I filmed that. Um, so when I filmed that video, I think my calories were around like, one, my macros were like 250 protein, 500 or 550 carb, 70 fat, and now they are 265 protein, 650 carb, 100 fat. Uh, so the calories have changed, so I'm gonna run you through a, uh, a full day of eating on a training day at some other point. But I pretty well, I, I mentioned in the video talking about post-show and stuff like that, um, so I thought I'd touch on that. Um, I've already recorded this once, but I lost the fucking footage, so fuck my life. But basically, post-show has been relatively good for me. Um, I am starting to feel more and more normal. Uh, tomorrow will be seven weeks post-show, I believe. Um, realistically, the only thing I've had to sort of struggle with is uh, food focus. I came out of that prep very well uh, managed fatigue-wise. I was pretty well deloading for the last four weeks, um, and I felt very fresh. Um, Food was obviously still high for a majority of the prep. Uh, There's a few digging weeks there that it got pretty fucked, but for the majority of the prep, food was very, very high. Um, PEDs were reasonably low, uh, and I just felt good. So we have uh, pretty well just pushed straight after prep um, and gone for that little rebound phase, which for most people isn't, uh, isn't an option, and it probably shouldn't be. Um, but I found myself in the perfect storm to basically do so, and it has paid dividends. Um, I'm currently, I think I was around about nine or 10 kilos above stage weight this morning. Um, and still holding very good condition. Uh, I'll put up some clips here of how I'm looking. Uh, but that is sort of what I wanted to talk about. Um, post show blues and stuff like that, I haven't really had to deal with. Um, I have, my goal in the end is uh, to get bigger. So I have like 15 kilograms to gain for my weight cap. My lowest weigh in was around 15 kilos lower than um, my cap so I have a lot of growing to do um, but yeah post show blues wasn't really an issue for me it was more so just keeping food in line um, there was a couple days where obviously I just fucking binge ate lost control um, if you can if you can reverse post show perfectly props to you because it is hard as fuck uh, for the most part like literally like 95% of my coming out of show has been perfect um, I tried my absolute hardest to pretty well nail everything because I'm well aware that my off season is gonna be very long. And uh, last time I competed, I pretty well ruined my uh, appetite within about two weeks post show. And I do not want to be vomiting every day uh, this off season. So I'm trying my best to keep food uh, enjoyable, uh, which it is right now. I'm eating four and a half, 4.6K calories now. Um, and I'm still ravenous, like starving. Like I've just basically licked this bowl clean before. Um, which is awesome because it means for a longer period of time in the off season, obviously it's going to get to a point where I hate food anyway. Um, I get around to that like 10, 11% body fat mark, um, maybe 12. Uh, and my, my body just doesn't really like going above that, um, which is a blessing and a curse. Obviously it's great because naturally I stay pretty lean. If I was just to eat the satiety, um, I'm quite a lean person. But in terms of gaining mass, it makes eating quite difficult and I do have quite a high expenditure slash metabolism. So I eat a fair bit of food. Um, so basically coming out of the show at the forefront of my mind and what sort of kept me on track the most was knowing that one, I don't want to get fat really quick because last time I competed, I did. Um, 
um, two, my off season is going to be very extended. So there's two sort of reasons for that being a, uh, a big like factor for me not wanting to fuck up was one, obviously the eating, but two, I don't want to get as fat as I did last off season. So the leaner I stay before starting it, the more push and more runway we have to push in the off season without getting fat. Um, which is the goal. I don't think I'll have to push quite as hard. Well, obviously I'm gonna have to push as hard uh, as last off season, but I don't think I'll get quite as fat. Fingers fucking crossed. Taylor, if you are watching this, coach, don't make me fat, please. Uh, but that's pretty well it, guys. Like I've had a pretty cruisy uh, coming out of prep. It was really, really um, enjoyable. Obviously there was days where it was like, fuck, how am I gonna get through this? But it was a positive experience. Fucking loved every bit of it. Um, you always come out of the prep feeling very, uh, what's the word, euphoric, I suppose, about the whole experience. You sort of forget how shit you felt some days very quickly because of the whole uh, show day euphoria and fucking everything going on. So, yeah, that is me, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm going to film another video probably like tomorrow or something on the training day. So I'll chat to you. Anything I've forgotten to say in this video, you'll see in the next. But uh, that is, uh, that's it. Enjoy your fucking day, fellas.